In the day's other news, at least 40 civilians died at a wedding party in Afghanistan in a raid by Afghan special forces. It happened in Helmand province as troops attacked a Taliban hideout next to the bride's home. In the aftermath, the wounded were pulled from the rubble while relatives waited outside the hospital. Officials said 22 Taliban fighters were killed as well. In Hong Kong, transit systems returned to normal and crews cleaned up after weekend demonstrations once again turned violent. Clashes broke out last night at subway stations where protesters damaged ticket machines and vandalized walls. Outside, they barricaded streets and lit fires. Riot police charged with tear gas to disperse the crowds. It marked a 16th week of unrest by pro-democracy demonstrators. Thousands of travelers worldwide were left looking for new arrangements today when the British travel firm Thomas Cook shut down without warning. The company halted flights and canceled bookings after failing to secure $250 million in rescue funding. Around the world, anxious passengers scrambled to get to their destinations. Sue Hoskins was stranded on the Greek island of Corfu. We've been given no information at all by anybody. Um, we've just been brought to the airport late and we're now told we might not even get a seat on the plane. So I think it's really bad that no one is here to help. In all, Thomas Cook canceled more than 600,000 bookings worldwide. The company had been in business for 178 years, but had struggled for years against budget airlines and low-cost online booking sites. Puerto Rico is shuttering schools and closing public agencies. As Tropical Depression Karen approaches, the system could hit the U.S. territory with winds of 35 miles an hour and up to eight inches of rain tomorrow. To the north, Tropical Storm Jerry moved toward Bermuda today with sustained winds of 65 miles an hour. A former Dallas police officer, Amber Geiger, went on trial today for killing a black neighbor in his own apartment. Prosecutors said that Geiger was upset and distracted when she entered what she thought was her apartment and then shot a man she believed was a burglar. The defense said that she made understandable mistakes. The jury will decide whether she is guilty of murder or a lesser crime or no crime at all. The strike against General Motors is now in its second week. The automaker and the United Auto Workers Union bargained through the weekend. There were reports of progress, but no sign that the end of the walkout is near. Some 49,000 workers are on the picket lines, paralyzing 30 GM sites in nine states. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained about 15 points to close at 26,950. The Nasdaq fell five points, and the S&P 500 was virtually unchanged. And the best in television entertainment were crowned last night at the Emmy Awards, and Game of Thrones ruled again. The HBO fantasy epic won Best Drama for its final season, while Amazon's Fleabag took home the Best Comedy Honors, and Billy Porter became the first openly gay man to win Best Actor in a Drama series for his role in Pose.